Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at a card game called Murder of Crows. Uncover the story of a murder most foul. Let's check it out. Alright, here's Murder of the Crows. Pretty easy game. Right, seems like. Instructions, one page. Always a plus in my book. So, what you're gonna do, you wanna spell out the word murder in front of you. That's the goal of the game. So you're gonna have a hand of cards. First player does not draw from the draw pile. And they're gonna play a card from their hand. So, you kinda wanna look what each card does. So first player, probably don't play R, because it reaps, which draws a card. And you don't have to play in any order, uh, letter-wise. Play R down, so I still get to draw a card on my first turn. And play continue second player. Ooh, that's another reference card. <laughs> All right, so he'll draw his card for his turn. And he can play defensive. Well, not really defensive, so I'll just kind of take that. He can play the M card, right? So he'll play M in front of him. You want to check your reference. You play the M. Misplace. Take one card from any other murder to put in your hand. So if he places this down, and he gets to pick up another player's card right in his hand. So that kind of gameplay is going to go back and forth over and over again. So I'm going to draw a card. You want to stack something. So he's going to play an E. Play an E is expel. Others discard their hands and draw three cards. So that card he just gained is gone. It is now in the discard pile. And that turns that way. So he draws three cards. Now he'll draw. We'll just say he's going to play R to draw another card to get to more of the mechanics. So what you can do on your turn, and you may want to, is stack. So once you start stacking letters on, onto themselves, it's like a protection. So if he plays another M, if he has one. Yeah. So say he tries to play another M. He can, he can still take one of your cards, but he'll just be the top card. You'll still have your E there to try to get your row of a uh, murder spelled. Now you also can defend with these number of crows here are on top. So let me make sure I get that right. Okay. So say he tries to play an M to take your E away. M has two crows on the upper left hand corner here. So you have to look at your hand and you can discard the card, but it must match. It must have two crows if the, uh, the offensive card has two crows. So you can discard this. He still plays the card, it's just no effect. So your E will stay, you're safe. Oh, and D, it uh, affects everyone. So choose one letter, others discard one of it from their murder pile. Under you, undercover, others reveal their hand. You choose one card from any hand, take it. All right, and then the other card in the game is the Wild Crow. All right, Wild Crow. So the Wild Crow can defend against any effect, I believe. Yeah, so it can be discarded to stop any effect. And it can be played to your pile as any letter you choose. So say I need another R, or I just want to put some protection on my R, play the crow down. And I believe it gets the effect. Yep, it will get the R effect, so you get to draw a card for playing another R. Now say you play this as an M to try to take another way, a card away. The only way to defend against a wild crow card is to play 
a crow card against it. So you can't just discard from your hand. You have to um, beat a wild crow with a wild crow. So play will continue, and when you want to, or when you want to, well, how to win the game is you spell murder in front of you. Let's see. Let's just spell it out right quick. This is kind of a cool little mechanic thing. Not mechanic, but cool game end. It's going to tell a story. Once you've completed your murder, you're going to read the text on the cards, and it's going to tell you like, like what happened. So, so this would read, a hot wind tormented the twilight on forgotten gravestones when Heidi Harmony staged an accident and used chopsticks to impale Mike Miserbean. So that's what happened. You've won the game. You spelled uh, murder out in front of you. Good to go. Seems like a pretty cool little game. Uh, I do like the art because it fits the theme. So I don't really got to play play it, so I don't, it seems like a lot to take that. So it says 20 minutes. So probably a lot of look at the draw and just stacking things, kind of like you stack, I guess not really a skip bow, but kind of reminds me of that, but you're playing protection instead. Torch stock is good. Cover the story of a murder most foul. It's made by Atlas Games. Looks like it came out in 2012. 